Don't forget to check out the website, guys. Be sure to buy yourself some of my awesome merch to rock up to the car boots in. And also check out the helpful guides and blog posts. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So in today's video, I've actually got 11 sales for you, opposed to 10. Uh, it's just the way it's worked out this week. Um, I had a couple of multi-orders and I wanted to include uh, both the items from both of those multi-orders and uh, also the rest of the items I wanted to include as well. So we're just slightly over the 10 today, but no worries. Um, I will try and keep this to around the 10 minutes. I know recently I've been going quite a lot over the 10 minutes, but I'm just kind of prone to rambling a lot of the time with some of these items. Um, but yeah, with that being said, uh, we'll get on with this. This is from the latter part of the 1st of March all the way up to today's date, which is the 8th of March 2019. So uh, with that being said, let's Let's get on with it. So first off, we've got this vintage tweed mill headwear, brown, medium, drop brim hat. Now, I've never heard of a drop brim hat. I would assume that it's got something to do with, um, obviously, like the drop brim hat is more of an extended brim on it or something. I'm not sure. Um, but I've never even heard of a drop brim hat before. You can see in here, it says drop brim hat there. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool, this item. Uh, I paid £2.50 for it in a charity shop not too long ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago, something like that. And uh, I got a nice quick 14.99 plus my postage on it. Maybe I could have pushed a little bit higher, maybe 17.99, maybe 20. Um, but I would assume that if I went too much higher, it would hang around for a little bit longer. And I do like to get fairly quick turnarounds uh, on some of this stuff. So I generally price a little bit lower, make sure I get that nice quick sale on some items. And then obviously can reinvest that profit into other items. Because you never know, if you go a little bit too high sometimes with these hats what I've what I've found is um, you know if you just go that little bit higher they can sit around for a very very long time I've, ha I've had a few hats that I've got on that I've sat around for quite a while so I do like to be quite conservative on price and um, obviously just get them out really um, but yeah so that's that one pretty nice sale there next we've got something that has hung around for quite a while actually but I always expect it on these uh, obviously these old vintage bottles we've got this uh, dark brown octagon Agnol Milton um, Vintage Glass Pharmaceutical Bottle. Pretty cool. Um, $9.65 plus my postage on that. I think I may have had this up for a little bit higher. Maybe the $12.99 or $14.99. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then maybe I've come down over time. I don't think I've had this on for ages and ages. But I know I've had it on for a few months at least. So... Yeah, I'm not sure on that. Or maybe I did just originally put it up at 9.95, but it seems a little bit low if I did. I've, really, I, I would have thought I'd at least tried that at sort of 12.99, something like that. Um, plus my postage, of course. But yeah, so that was that one anyway. There, you can see on this little uh, measurement here. Uh, it's almost 20 centimeters. So yeah, quite a cool looking bottle that one. It's a little bit different to the usual kind of clear ones or green ones. And obviously with it being octagonal, that's a little bit different as well. But yeah, so that's that uh, bottle there. Next was one of the multi-orders, which were these two uh, candlesticks, turned wooden candlesticks. These were listed as a part of the 100 items in a day. Uh, challenge and obviously if you haven't checked out that video then you may want to do so obviously I did a hundred listings in a day for my 23rd birthday really really cool very very hard challenge but at the same time you know well I said in the video it wasn't like really mega hard but it it was repetitive you know that that the, re the repetitive nature of it made it quite hard to be honest but um, yeah so the same person bought both, oh, sorry, both sets of these candlesticks here, uh, these wooden turned ones, uh, $14.99 a piece, obviously, there, plus the postage. Pretty happy with that. These just came in, uh, I think these came in like a, um, I think these were with, yeah, these were with a load of ethnic figures I got. Um, basically, these two sales here put me on in profit on the entire job lot, so, you know, it's pretty decent, really, uh, just out of those two sales, and I actually got like four or five boxes of ethnic stuff. So yeah, really, really cool just to get in profit on just two sales like that. Um, but yeah, these are really, really nice. Would I put the price up in future a little bit? Maybe I would go 20 quid, something like that. But even so, they didn't sell really, really quickly. I mean, they did take, what, three or four weeks to go, something like that, and um, probably about four weeks to go, maybe even a little bit longer than that. Uh, yeah, 
Probably, yeah, probably about four weeks, maybe maybe a little bit longer, but around that. So, you know, they didn't take, uh, you know, they weren't really, really quick to sell or anything. So it kind of shows me that, yeah, maybe I could push an extra fiver, but I don't think I could go too much more on them. But they are very nice items. You can see there was a little bit of damage. I don't know whether I've sort of shown it on here that well. But you can see there was a little bit of scuffs and a little bit of wear to the top of one of these candlestick holders here. Um, which does detract from it a little bit. But still, you can't see that too much. So it's not it's not too bad. You know, on display, they're not gonna it's not gonna affect um you know their kind of beauty or anything like that. Um just a, a little bit of a scuff there, but yeah. Yeah, it's something worth noting. So that was those two. I would say out of the two, I probably like... I'd say these ones the best. Um, I know a lot of people probably like these ones um, because of that kind of almost bulbous uh, type shape on the top there. Uh, that would actually have been a good keyword to put in and I didn't put that in, like bulbous or something. Um, but I, I like these ones best. I really do like them, but yeah, so that was those two. Nice little multi-order there. Next was something I've had on for quite a while. I also, I think I also had this in my cabinet back when I had my cabinet. Uh, vintage brass rectangular hammered effect, uh, twin handle, uh, twin handled. Uh, I think it was a drinks tray. I just put drinks tray in there. Um, or, you know, I mean, it, it's got to be something like that at least um, for carrying beverages or drinks or whatever. Uh, 22, uh, 27 there plus my postage. Obviously, I would have had this up maybe 22.99 or 24.99, and maybe during a sale or something like that, I've ended up coming down. But yeah, 22, uh, 22, uh, 27 plus my postage on that one. Pretty happy with that one. This will have just come in an auction job lot, so it wouldn't have cost me a load of money um I, as i say i did try and put it in my cabinet for a little bit um but you know for whatever reason it didn't go i think i had it at maybe 20 or 25 in my cabinet as well and it just didn't go um but i think with that one i either had it on the bottom shelf or one shelf up, so it wasn't necessarily in prime view. Um, but yeah, so still, nice little sale there. These are always nice to pick up. You know, you can get some decent money for these. And obviously, if it's like a particularly ornate one or anything like that, then you can get a lot more. You can get 30 quid, 40 quid, 50 quid. And, you know, if it's a really, really good one, it can be crazy money. So, uh, you know, obviously this one was pretty standard, but there are ones that you can get really, really good money for. So definitely worth looking out for them, uh, drinks trays. I didn't really know what to put this one on at because um, it's very weird, like very different this item and I couldn't see any on sold or any on on eBay really uh, and this is this vintage metal stained glass sort of panel uh, sort of like a light cover or ceiling um, like light cover um, and I also put prop in the title I don't know whether someone might have liked it as a prop or anything I'm not sure um, maybe I could have put man cave in the title as well that might have helped as well um, but I got 24.99 plus my postage on that one just a completely made up price could I have got a little bit more who knows I really don't know maybe I could have got an extra five or I say that on a lot of items you know maybe I could have got an extra five here or here or there but with these antiques and collectibles you really a lot of the time you just like it's, you know, it's a guesstimate, you know, and if you, um, you know, you might price it wrong, and if you do price it wrong, it'll go pretty quick. Now, this one didn't actually go really, really quick. It did take a few weeks to go. So it does kind of say to me that I've kind of got a, a, a roundabout price, but maybe, as I say, I could have got a little bit more. With a lot of these vintage items, as I mentioned, it's always kind of, um, you know, trial and error, and maybe on uh, other occasions in the future, if you've maybe sold something at one price and it is a little bit more of a, of a, I don't know, a different item, then you could maybe try and up the price the next time you have it um, and just see if you can get a little bit more of that, that next time. Um, so next we've got this vintage EPNS small Blackpool uh, Championship Dog Show Souvenir Cup. I said that I had another one of these. I've actually I actually sold one and I showed it in a sales update. Um, but yeah, I, I put the I actually listed the other one, twelve ninety nine and uh, three forty nine uh, postage. Now I shot myself in the foot on this one, and I'll tell you why. Uh, say going along the lines of you know pricing and stuff uh, this one did sell really quick now this one sold in a day now of course it could be the case that someone's got a ser saved search set up for some of this stuff and it just was the right buyer right time etc 
but I don't think it was. I think maybe I could have charged a bit more for this, but it is very, very odd because the other one that I had, I had an almost identical one to this one, and it took quite a while to go at the same price at twelve ninety nine. So I don't know, maybe I could have got more. I'm feeling like maybe I could have done, but the other one didn't go quick at the same price, so I don't know, maybe it was right by the right time, but yeah, something's like making me think, oh, maybe I should have put it like quite a bit higher than that or something i don't know but yeah still i'm more than happy with that because this you know it doesn't really owe me anything now the job like came in is is profit anyway so it doesn't really matter too much but if you could get a little bit more out of something it's always nice to try and, and get that little bit extra out of it but yeah that's that one there anyway these like little etched cups you know these like little etched dpns cups some of them do do well so do have a look into them because you know if you get any uh, they can be quite good money next obviously the Enid Blyton book bundle that I showed on a haul video, uh, Vintage Eden, Eden Blyton, the famous five children's books bundle, $14.99, as I mentioned, that was what I was going to price these famous five ones at, uh, which I think is like a pound a book plus postage or something, you know, there or thereabouts, uh, plus my uh, 3 49 postage, obviously, so yeah, pretty happy on those, obviously, that's my money back, and maybe a very small profit, and then I've got another couple of bundles to go from that job, like, I think I've got one that's listed, and then one, like, half bundle that I need to kind of find a few extra books for, so yeah, pretty happy on that one, obviously, as I say, that gets my money out of them at least, and a small bit of profit, um, so yeah, next is one of the newspapers, I have, I've been selling these newspapers quite regularly, uh, I got a job lot for £10 plus commission from the auction, I am well into profit on that now, I've probably done about £100 of sales of it, and I've got God knows how many newspapers left to sell, definitely over like three or four hundred pounds worth of of newspapers left to sell um off a 10 pound plus commission job like it's absolutely crazy um it's probably actually weirdly enough it's probably one of my best buys ever and it wasn't even like a calculated buy i just thought oh yeah they're cheap at a tenner i'll buy them you know and and i got the job lot home and researched a few of them and and realized that actually i've got about 50 newspapers here that are 10 pound plus um, and it worked out to be really, really good, and no one else bid on them, so, yeah, very, very odd, but, um, yeah, they're selling quite steady, you know, I mean, they're not the quickest sellers, I mean, the, the best ones went really quick, like, they went, uh, pretty early on, and now what's happening is slowly, they're just ticking along some of the £10 plus postage ones, um, so yeah, this is Vintage The Sun, I still love him, Sonia Sutcliffe, collectible newspaper, 1981, and you can see, it's not even that old, really, 1981, that's, I mean, that's only, uh, well, I say it's only just vintage, it is definitely vintage, but, you know, it's not really like a really old newspaper, like from 1920 or 1910 or anything, or even older than that. So to get 10 quid for a newspaper that's only like, what, 38 years old? I keep wanting to say 36 years old, but 38 years old, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I can't believe, actually, I've just realised in about two years... 1981, it'll be 40 years ago, that's crazy, that's, that makes me, fa that makes me feel old, and I wasn't even born then, but it makes me feel old, because I'm like, oh god, that means I'm getting close to 40, but yeah, anyway, I don't mind, I'll have to look forward to being 40, and then it won't seem so bad, but yeah, anyway, finally, final couple of sales, multi-buy, again, this one, so same person bought two items, uh, vintage, metal, silver plate, free tier, candlestick, candelabra holder, and this one had nice little covers on it, so these were removable covers, um, and they're really nice, quite, uh, they just make it look, uh, just a lot more ornate, you know, and just a lot more appealing as well. So I got uh, 1939 on that plus my postage, and then the same person also bought this one, which I think are the actual, the act actually the same set, right? So these two, I think, are the, the exact same set. You can probably see with the decoration on them, um, they're pretty much the exact same set. However, these ones haven't got the little, um, or oh, what do you call them, the little, like, caps to them that I just showed you, um, and also these are a little bit more tarnished and stuff, and not as, uh, well looked after, so obviously you see I priced these a little bit lower, um, but yeah, really, really happy with that sale, I mean, it's like 30 odd quid, maybe close to 40 quid, uh, including my postage for, um, you know, these two can uh, candlestick holders, candelabras, 
didn't, again, didn't really pay that much for these in an auction job lot. Maybe both of them cost me, like, maximum about a fiver in, in the job lots. Um, you know, together, that's, like, like pretty much maximum cost. So, uh, yeah, really, really happy on that, you know potentially about five pound into into 40 quid there so yeah really really happy with those two and it's nice to be getting a few more of these multi-orders as i mentioned i think in a previous sales update i set up multi-buy not long ago and it seems i'm getting a few more multi-orders and it is pretty nice you know like um just to basically i, I think in packaging it's good as well because i'm just packaging up like I, I feel like i'm packaging up less because I'm packaging up multi-orders that go in the same parcel. Um, so I think it's nice in packaging as well. And and, and obviously, um, you get a better kind of um, amount of money in your PayPal account in one go rather than just like, you know, bits and bobs coming in throughout the day. You get like a nice chunk um, of like, you know, 40 quid or 30 quid or 50 quid or whatever if, if people buy a couple of items. So that's quite nice opposed to just getting like, you know, 9.95s in your PayPal account all day, you know. But yeah, anyway, so that's the sales um, for the last week or so. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you do indeed like it. Don't forget also to check the website out down below. Um, I'm trying to update it as frequently as I can. Um, and also there's loads of different information over on the website. Um, there's also my merch over on the website if you want to support the channel that way. Um, and yeah, loads of stuff down below. Loads of links in the description if you want to look at any of those. And uh, yeah, I will leave it there for today's video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.